out of the house. And as I went through the window, I looked at my watch, and it was exactly 3.14. So, you see, I couldn't have possibly had anything to do with the Frobisher murder. All right, sister. It's the tenth time we've heard that story, and it still doesn't wash. Ryan, let me handle this alone. No, no, Cassidy! Now, brutality, it never works. I think we're better off if we use psychology. Tried psychology for six hours. Now we do it my way! No, no, wait a minute. <laughs> just, just give me one more chance. All right, one more chance. But if she doesn't change her story this time, she's mine. <laughs> now, look, uh, honey, I, I'm trying to help you out, but you've got to tell us the truth. I told you I've been telling you the truth. That does it. Let me in her! I, I don't know how long I can hold him back. Look, I told you guys I was nowhere near the scene of the crime. I was asleep at the time of the murder. All right, all right. Now, look, now let, let's go over it one more time, okay? All right, I was asleep in this bed. Start from the top. I've already told this story ten times. All right. We'll tell it again. All right. This morning, I decided to take a nature walk. And I got to this strange part of the woods, and I suddenly realized that I was lost. And I came upon this house. Whose house? I told you I don't know whose house. All I know is I peeped through the window and there was nobody there and the door was open, so I went inside. And? And there were three bowls of porridge sitting on the table. <laughs> and you ate the porridge? Not all of it. First, I tasted some from the first bowl, the big bowl. It was too hot. So then I tasted some from the second bowl, the middle-sized bowl, and it was too cold. So then I tasted some from the wee little bowl, and it was just right, so I ate it all up. And then you took a cab to the west side, and you killed my little frog. Take it hey, easy, Cassidy. That's not what happened at all. All right, then. What did happen? Well, it was three chairs. <laughs> By then, I was getting kind of tired, and I wanted to sit down. So first I tried the big chair, and, and it, it was, was too, too hard. Let her tell the story, Cassidy. I'm sorry, but I know it forwards and backwards. <laughs> then she tried the little size chair, but it was too soft. So then she saw this wee little chair. So she sat in it, it was just right, but she broke it. <laughs> I tell you, Ryan, I, I heard this story before. <laughs> of course you have. She's told it 10 times. Yeah, 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 of course. All right. All right, give us the rest of it again. So then I went into the other room, and there were these three beds. Oh, never mind. I... Yeah, never mind. Just get to the part where they woke you up. Well, I was asleep in the wee little bed. And uh, the first thing I remember was waking up, and there was this papa and mama and a little kid. And they all came into the bedroom, and the papa, who was very big, said, somebody's been lying in my bed. And then, and then the, the mother, who was middle-sized, said, somebody's been lying in my bed. <laughs> and the little kid said, hey, somebody's been lying in my bed, and there she is. Well, somebody's been lying in this room! I swear to you, that's exactly what happened! Then I jumped out of the nearest window and I ran away as fast as my legs would carry me! <laughs> it must be the truth. She has every detail down pat. I know. But there's something wrong with it. There's something about it that keeps gnawing at me. <laughs> you think I'm crazy, right? But th that story sounds familiar. <laughs> You... you couldn't have heard it before. You remember a story like that. Yeah, I guess you're right. What are we going to do? I <sighs> guess we'll have to release her. Oh, no. Well, sorry, sister, but it didn't work. You figured it out, huh? Yeah. Our police helicopter has been over every inch of that part of the woods. And there ain't no house. So let's hear the story. The real story. All right, I'll tell you the real story. See, what really happened was this morning it was very cold, so I got my favorite red cape that has the little red hood. 